Hey guys, today I want to show you a quick little contraption using cobble walls and uh, that is that you can make really compact end gates in case you didn't know. For example, this one here only turns on the output when all of the lights are turned on, as you can see. And if I turn any of those off, it will immediately turn off the light. And it simply uses the fact that the cobble walls will connect to the trapdoors only when they are powered and that means vertical. And then the copper wall will be flat, uh, whereas when one of the inputs is turned off, uh, there will be this little edge here, and that is detectable by an observer. Uh, it's nice, it's also instant in a sense that it instantly uh, switches state. Unfortunately, though, so, you could theoretically um, screw this up by just quickly uh, powering a lever since the piston is not instant. Um, yeah, but obviously you can make some instant um, T-flip-flop there in order to fix this issue. Actually, now it's back to normal. And um, an application, for example, would be, well, uh, this little uh, coded door. So, uh, door does not open unless you press the right buttons and you can just try. And it's very unlikely that you by accident figure out what the right combination is. But if you press the right buttons, it's going to open. And it's actually really simple to build. Let me just show you how it's working here. So I'm, uh, I replaced the proper input with lever so you can actually see. So when you place uh, the uh, copper wall at the side, it's basically a positive end gate. And you can also make it inverted so that's a negative end gate. So in this case, uh, the state of the copper wall will switch when uh, not all of the inputs here are turned on. So in this case, the other inputs are ignored. But if I would just place uh, trapdoors there, you would have to power all of the levers, like in this case, this one, or for the right side, these two. And the opposite is true for the uh, copper wall behind here. Uh, it's in this position when none of the trapdoors is powered. But if any of those trapdoors are powered, let me just, for example, replace this one. It switches the state, uh, and that means that you may not press any of the buttons. Uh, or let's actually color code the buttons so it's easier to see. Uh, it's you have to press the bright buttons in order for the trapdoor to swap. But you may not press any of the uh, uh, purple buttons, otherwise uh, the cobble wall here will connect. And then you have the problem that the observer uh, only gives out a single tick. So what I did over here was just um, you now extend the signal, invert it, and then make an additional end gate with the trapdoor, uh, with the pressure plate here. So you have to press the buttons quickly, and before the pr first button uh, releases its signal, you have to step on the pressure plate. So uh, if you step on it first, it will not open. And it will also not open if you are too slow. And then do it is, But you have to quickly press the buttons and then step on the pressure plate and it will open. It's actually very convenient. It also automatically resets since the buttons just uh, go back to their default state after one and a half seconds. And uh, it's, uh, as you can see, it's very simple wiring. You just code it by uh, placing trapdoors or glass blocks, depending on where you want the buttons to be. And then uh, have this little end gate from the pressure plate with an additional row of trapdoors on top. And then the output is just with a sig little signal extender and hooked up to the door here. So uh, yeah, actually, this looks better. I uh, hope you like this. You can obviously download this world in the description. Or if you look at it closely, you might be able to just build it from looking at it if you need something like this hope you enjoyed this short video and i'm uh, in the future always going to make some shorter little videos if i find something interesting as well not only the big elevator like contraptions so uh yeah to give you guys more interesting content to watch thanks for watching and see you next time <laughs>